Hello, sir. How are you? Good afternoon, gentlemen. I have brought gas mask on. a machine, machine of torture, I believe. It's the electronic stimulation machine. Oh, hey. I've come to the pawn shop today with my electric muscle stimulator. It was used by my father, who was a physiotherapist, back in the 1950s. I'd like £100 for it, but I would take £30. Where did they actually use this? My father treated polio victims. Yeah. Now, obviously, they had wasted muscles. Yes. That will actually give you a little shock. My father used to use it with these. Nowadays, Mark. This box is now that small. Medical equipment in those days, in the 50s and 60s, was big. And imagine going to doctors or whatever, seeing this thing, it'd make you feel right. better straight away, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I love old medical stuff like this. Basically, in the late 1700s, the Italian doctor spent his days electrocuting frogs. It may not seem very scientific, but the pull of dead frog, his legs start to twitch. And that proved that electrical current could simulate muscle. So he got weak and strong, the knobs fell off there. Yeah. yeah. Right, have you, when did you last use it? Ten years ago. If we buy anything like this, we have to have it tested. We need a volunteer, and Mark suffers from a bad back. <laughs> so, I know it's for pain relief, so we could actually use your bad back. Well, hang on, we don't even know whether it works properly. Does well, it work properly? Let me ask you the question. Can you get electric shock by holding this? No. OK. OK, Mark. Well, what are you going to do? Just, uh, just, just hang on, no, hang on, hang on. Hold your hand that no. way round. Hang on, just... Don't, just hold wait, it flat let, like that. No, just let me, please. This is me that's being electrocuted, okay. Okay. all right? Okay. Let me get ready. Don't do it yet. Yeah, I won't. Don't, you I will won't. do. I won't. Mark, why don't you hold his hand? Little Mark thinks he's a partner here at the shop. But the truth is, he's not. Let's be honest, he's not stupid, but he's not really that smart either, is he? <laughs> OK, just do it, just do it. <laughs> 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 it sounds like he likes it. <laughs> Is it like that? It's quite nice. <laughs> it's so gonna... You're here. You're here. Ah! Oh! <laughs> try it on you. You just <laughs> no, try it on honestly. me. No, honestly. It's your nostrils. Come here. Is it? <laughs> oh! <laughs> that did go. That went right up. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> hang on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By all means. These. For your eyeballs? No, That's you've not got a chance. I'm yeah. telling you what, not not for all the money in the world, it's not going to happen. Okay, do it. No, oh, oh. I'm closing my eyes though. Yeah, Just oh, come on. Oh. That is one brave man. <laughs> it's something that I've never seen before. Somebody actually using the eyeball tester. That just proves something. <laughs> You're stupid, but the most stupidest <laughs> person I've ever met. <laughs> Stuff like this either sells to medical collectors or interior designers or for someone who's just buying something for a gag. It's not a lucrative market, so I'm not going to pay over the odds for this. So, this beast here, what are you looking for? Well, I was thinking of £100. £100, all I could do is sit on my shelf and hopefully one day a collector will come along and I'll sell it for the same price. Well, go on, just make me an offer on it. I don't know, it's fun, isn't it? It's be cool to have around. Uh, 50 quid, I say. 50 pounds. Yeah, yeah, I, I yeah. think 50 pounds. Thank you very much, Mark. Thank you. you. Pay for it. Nice Cheers, one, mate. Mark. Thank you. Thank Great, you. Mark. It's not often that someone takes my first offer without putting the fight, but I'm not complaining. It's a good deal for me, a fair price for the customer. Now I'm going to spend the rest of the day zapping Mark. No, you can put your finger on the end, do that. Come oh, on. Yeah. Oh!